Welcome back. Call Curtis investigates tonight. People here getting parking tickets when they swear they weren't in L.A. Curtis first started looking into this more than five years ago, and tonight he takes on the case of another Sacramento area driver who got stuck in the same mess. We keep hearing about this. You know, the L.A. Parking Bureau writes more than 7,000 parking tickets each and every day, and our investigations have found sometimes they get it wrong, mixing up numbers and letters, causing somebody here who is not in L.A. to get a ticket in the mail. Well, this Rancho Cordova viewer will tell you it's still tough to try and get it thrown out. It really is an annoyance for me, and honestly, uh, if I would have known it would have been this much hassle, I would have just paid the $25. But after all this fighting with the city of L.A., Mark Ahrensberger said he was determined not to give up on a ticket he said he didn't get. car has never been in L.A. But the ticket showed up in the mail saying his car was ticketed in L.A. in November for not having current stickers. The fine has grown to 100 bucks. Just bought the car, and of course, uh, the dealer would never let it off the lot without the tags on it. Uh, so it obviously had the tag showing. His explanations to L.A. saying he never drove his car there didn't work. I've never been to L.A. and, uh, and I've got no way to move that trailer. We've been investigating Northern California drivers wrongfully getting tickets in the city of L.A. for more than five years now. I felt like I was being scammed. And viewers told us L.A. showed no mercy, refusing to drop the tickets until we got involved. In 2009, L.A.'s Parking Bureau promised me to lend a better ear. Once somebody were to receive a citation and contact us, and if they're telling us that they've never been in the city during that time frame, we will definitely spend more time in trying to uh, eliminate those difficulties for an individual. And since then, in most cases, they have. Dismissing the tickets because they were tied to cars with different colors, makes, or models than what's written on the ticket. Mark's problem, his make, color, and license plate all match what's written on the ticket. So we suggested he come up with proof he was in Northern California that day. Find a credit card charge here. How about a time card or a letter from his company proving he was at work? Or maybe cell phone records proving he made calls on local towers. Mark is trying to find any of that proof right now. The city of L.A. tells us if and when they get proof he was here and not there, they'll drop the ticket. Be one less thing, right? All right, well, in 2008, the city of L.A. was writing more than 12,000 tickets a day. That number has dropped. They told us today they only write about 7,200 tickets a day. Okay, so how often is this happening where drivers are still getting these bogus tickets? Well, in 2008, they told us that they write 48 bogus tickets a day. Now, that's 48 out of 12,000 written. They are now telling us that number is down to 21, and that's out of 7,200 tickets a day. Wow. So, But they say they do catch a lot of those before they ever get mailed out. That's what they're telling us. But still, we are hearing from people at least every couple of months here yeah. in Northern California who say they are mm -hmm. getting tickets, and we were not in Southern California when that ticket was written. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right, if you have something you want, us to investigate, let us know. You can always call our hotline, 916-374-1343, or go to our website, cbssacramento.com, click on Call Curtis, and fill out our form.